continuing our focus on Kenya and celebration of Kenya and our beautiful, amazing peacemaker, Dr. Wangari Mathea, who created the Green Belt Movement and planting trees and livelihood for women and children in Kenya. This is a tale that was retold as a lullaby nursery rhyme and it was adapted by Verna Ardema and pictures by Beatrice Vidal. And they found this folk tale that it comes from Kenya. And I believe it's, the, it's from the Nandi village. And this book is a really beautiful one of remembering how precious fresh water is. And it is called Bringing the Rain to Kapiti Plain. This great Kapiti plain, all fresh and greened from the African rains, a sea of grass for the ground birds to nest in and patches of shade for wild creatures to rest in. With acacia trees for giraffes to browse on and grass for the herdsmen to pasture their cows on. But one year the rains were so very belated that all of the big wild creatures migrated. Then Kipat helped to end that terrible drought and this story tells how it all came about. This is the cloud, all heavy with rain that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. This is the grass, all brown and dead, that needed the rain from the cloud overhead. The big black cloud, all heavy with rain, that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. These are the cows, all hungry and dry, who mooed for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass all brown and dead that needed the rain from the cloud overhead, the big black cloud all heavy with rain that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. This is Kipot who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like a big stork bird Kipat, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky to green up the grass all brown and dead that needed the rain from the cloud overhead, the big black cloud, all heavy with rain that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. This is the eagle who dropped a feather, a feather that helped to change the weather. It fell near Kipat, who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like a big stork bird, Kipat, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky to green up the grass all brown and dead that needed the rain from the cloud overhead, the big black cloud all heavy with rain that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. This is the arrow Kipat put together with slender stick and an eagle feather from the eagle who happened to drop a feather, a feather that helped to change the weather. It fell near Kipot, who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like a big stork bird. Kipot, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky to green up the grass all brown and dead that needed the rain from the cloud overhead, the big black cloud, all heavy with rain that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. This is the bow. So long and strong and strung with from a string, a feather thong, a bow from an arrow Kipot put together with a slender stick and an eagle feather from the eagle who happened to drop a feather, a feather that helped to change the weather. 
If Felner Keepot, who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like a big stork burg, Keepot, whose cows were so hungry and dry they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass all brown and dead that needed the rain from the cloud overhead, the big black cloud all heavy with rain that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. This was the shot that pierced the cloud and loosened the rain with thunder loud. A shot from the bow so long and strong and strung with, from with a string, a feather throng. A bow for the arrow Keepot put together with a slender stick and an eagle feather from the eagle who happened to drop a feather, a feather that helped to change the weather. fell near Keepot, who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like a big stork bird. Keepot, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass all brown and dead that needed the rain from the cloud overhead, the big black cloud, all heavy with rain that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. The grass grew green and the cattle fat and Keepot got a wife and a little Keepot. Who tends the cows now and shoots down the rain when black clouds shadow Kapiti Plain. Have fun today finding your ways to maybe make an arrow. Maybe make that strong arrow and that strong bow and maybe even finding a warrior stance. So putting our knees down and here is our bow. We're going to move it back and release on the other side release. so have fun with your movements your imagination and honoring the rain that we are very very lucky to have around us in our pacific northwest region